Hi, this is Lisa with Red Lantern Glass. Thanks for joining me today. I recently reached my goal of over 500 subscribers and wanted to say thank you for watching and subscribing. I appreciate your feedback, shares, and continued support. When I first started fusing, I would watch every video I could find, and I appreciated all the time and energy that folks put into sharing their own methods and ideas. You and the Fused Glass community are the reason I continue to make videos and share my project ideas, so thank you. The project I've been working on is a fused glass cone flower on bullseye umber. It's a nice, rich brown color. I had smaller pieces of marigold and sunflower yellow, orange, pea pod, and some avocado green left over from a, ha a Halloween tray that I had made earlier this month. I didn't make a video of the striped Halloween tray, but you can see it on my Etsy page. If you Google at Red Lantern Glass, you'll see the link to my Etsy page, and you'll see the Halloween tray that I'm talking about. So on this video, you'll, you'll see that I'm putting together some cone flowers. Um, I'm, I'm working freehanded, so I didn't have a pattern or project design in mind. As the video continues, you'll see that the centers of the cones, I mixed a golden green, a black, woodland brown, opalescent, and a light amber transparent tint. The frit was mixed together with some glass tack to keep it um, held together as I was designing the cone center. And off camera, I was wearing an N95 mask while mixing the frit to reduce any exposure of inhaling the glass dust. Later on in the video, you'll see that I switched out uh, the green stems that you see now for a brown and orange color. The stringers were purchased um, off an Etsy site from JL Glass out of Texas. I've been really happy with the quality of their work and the variety of their colors. That particular stringer was called Autumn One. It's a four color stringer with brown, orange, marigold, and red opal. It was their limited edition for the fall season and I think it worked really nice for this project. Toward the end, you'll notice that the firing schedule I used was a tack fuse and there, I think it left a really nice uh, texture to the design. So stick around and see the final piece. Thanks.